you know, for all the beatings I take, EC3, mm-hmm. you know who put Stacy Keebler on TV? You, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Me. I saw Stacy Keebler and I'm like, she can't be one of the Nitro girls. <laughs> So I, I asked this before. I asked this on my on my pancakes and power stamp show, and I'm open to it. I, I, like I'm legitimately open to it. I thought I had a, I had a crush on Stacey Keeper back in the day. I thought she was just incredibly gorgeous. Oh, like, I, I really was. Still, yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, absolutely. I think she is one of the most beautiful like pro pro wrestling you know female talent ever. But Hall of Fame resume though. Like EC3, I, I I respect your views on just like um, when it comes to Hall of Fame resume and just your your affinity for the business as a as a wrestler and a wrestling fan. Please, I'm open to it. Please state the case for why Stacy Keebler should be inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame. I mean, I think Uncle Vince covered it where it's like there's no legitimacy. It's what's convenient for the location it's based and the stories they're pushing. I mean, the Hall of Fame is a slammy at this point. Now, it's not that it's not a great honor. It doesn't pay respect to great careers and the people that have, you know, took place in them. But I really don't think there's a criteria or a rhyme or a reason. If I were to vouch for Stacey Keebler to uh, be a Hall of Famer, I would vouch in the fact that, you know what? Very few people can capture our hearts and attention like she did. I'm single. Are you? Okay. <laughs> she's wow. Married. She's married. So she, she's taken. Hell is our man. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Vince Russo, do you think that that was uh, riveting enough for you? Well, you know who put, uh, you know, for all the beatings I take, EC3, mm-hmm. you know who put <laughs> Stacey Keebler on TV? You. For sure, yeah. yeah. Me, I saw Stacy Keebler, and I'm like, she can't be one of the Nitro girls. Did, did and okay for the criteria too? Is she going in as a wrestler or is she going in as a manager? Because both cases, like, I mean, I'm sure she won a couple of women's championships, and I'm sure she managed a couple <laughs> mid guys. But like, that's what I was going to ask. I wasn't watching around that time. Did she wrestle a lot, Chris? Barely, barely, like, barely. barely. She barely wrestled. Like what's the most successful unit she managed? The Dudleys at that time, where she was running the- barely, like for a hiccup. Whoa. So, what, 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 what was her biggest accomplishment, Chris, in WWE? Her smile, her eyes, her few with. I mean, her, her affiliation yeah, with yeah. Test and their few, like the Test's few with Scott Steiner, TNA calling the fans testicles. I mean, that was cool. I just. Ugh, I don't get it. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I mean, again, again, as a talent, just riveting. Like, just, I mean, but I don't know, man. I guess I, I guess I respect Hall of Fame so much. I mean, I know the WWE <laughs> is making it. I let's 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 do this, uh, Chris. Let's do this. Uh, Ivan Koloff, Stacy Keebler. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, King, nah, I might I might do Stacy over Ivan, you know, over I, Uncle I, Ivan. No King, way. King Kong oh, Bundy, yeah. King Kong Bundy, Stacy Keebler. Or she even like, like even think of it from a female perspective, Vince. Like Victoria versus Stacy Keebler. Yeah, right. I mean Jazz versus Stacy Keebler. Like Victoria yeah, and Jazz as great of wrestlers as they were, you probably look at their win loss record if this is legitimate, and they probably have more L's and W's, right? Because they were losing constantly to people like Stacy. Yeah. yeah, they they were, but they uh, were legends in the business based on their wrestling Absolutely. criteria. Yeah. I love Jazz. She's an agent of uh, NWA. She's great. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, so she wrestled a lot in 04. Stacey Kiva did. Well, not a lot. Probably a couple dozen matches. Uh, she wrestled, and that was it. 04... Uh, she wrestled a couple times in 02, uh, a few times in 01. So from 01 to 04, she, she wrestled for three years, probably 30 matches. 
Is Tori Wilson in the Hall of Fame yet? She is yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Yes. <clears throat> yep. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. I just don't. I don't. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But, but they, yeah. for getting me through my adolescence, I give them the nod. But if it's based on legitimacy criteria, win loss record, or people manage, eh? Who's to say? Uh, I guess so, man. I, I don't know. Uh, her win loss record in WWE, uh, she was uh, nine and she's nine, nine, nine and three in WWE. WWF, she was undefeated. That's what. That's why. Oh, there it is, right there, bro. That's it, Chris. That's, that's Take not, it all back, that's, man. That's not. That's not true, actually. Take it all. She back. was. She was six and fifteen in the uh, while she wrestled in WWF. She was nine twenty three and three while she was in WWF. Wow! Uh, if she if, if if that's her record and she's a Hall of Fame, yeah. So to, so her total W she was uh, she was four and three in WCW, so her her total WWE record was 15, 38 and three. That's her that's her total <laughs> WWE record. Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen. I never seen giving another match seven yes. stars, but if I do. <laughs> then it'll be a wonderful thing for wrestling. Yes, indeed. 15, okay. 38, and 3 is uh, Stacey. Can Stacey. you look up people's re- like all-time records, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Chris, you got to look up because the, the, the one guy, like I would say, listen, bro, I, I will take a bullet to put this guy in the Hall yeah. of Fame. Bro, what's Steve Lombardi's one loss record? Okay. <laughs> Steve Lombardi has got to be in the hall of fame come on man these are televised though so we're not taking into account live events uh that live event run was immaculate let's see let's do uh so the brooklyn Brooklyn brawler Brawler. maybe you got to do brooklyn brawler maybe yeah i'll do brooklyn brawler so the brooklyn brawler's uh record uh here we go all right so his so his record in the wwe was uh 22 and uh 315 no way <laughs> no way chris 22 wins 315 are wins. you serious <laughs> <laughs> maybe he chalked up more wins as a knuckleball schwartz oh, there you go <laughs> <laughs> What a record! Twenty-two and what, bro? Three fifteen. Oh my god! My god. <laughs> there you go, man. That's there tremendous, go. man. That's that's I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. With the, with 22. the record of that, uh, twenty-two big wins, baby. Twenty. Yeah. I mean, hey, man, those twenty-two yeah. wins, man. Those, those mean a lot. Wow. EC three, you, you got a thought there? No. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about how hard it is to throw a knuckleball. Like I tried to perfect it when I was. That's oh, very hard. Very yeah. hard. Yeah. What's EC three? So what's EC 3s record actually? EC three. Uh oh. Your WWE record oh, is. Uh, let's see. Your WWE record is a whopping, <clears throat> not the develop, not the developmental, but uh, the WWE 30, 55 and one. Not bad. <clears throat> That's your, that's Considering your I went two years in Impact undefeated, I think that puts me above 500. Yes, yes. Years, so, hey, not bad. The TNA record is uh, <clears throat> 104, wow. uh, 54, and 7. Oh, 60 games over, bro. Wow. Good. Yeah, impressive. Pretty good. Impressive. It's like the uh, 57 Yankees, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bro, they'll put they'll put EC three in the TNA Hall of Fame. No, I think they should. I think they should. Right? Yeah, I think there's. I don't. Yeah, think you're, you're gonna intro me. Yeah, I think it's uh, no doubt, man. Absolutely. You were Borash. Or no Spud. Very nice. Borash still works for WWE, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah but he can come in. Okay. okay. Vince Russo's all time <laughs> <laughs> record, ladies and gentlemen. Is seven one and two, bro? That's Hall of Fame material. <laughs> seven one and two, bro. Who beat me? Yes, the dude. Uh, one. I'm protesting that loss, bro. Who that beat? Was when, me? That was when uh you lost your uh. Let me see. You, 
So you lost. You lost one match. Come lost. on. So your pay per view match was you, you lost the pay per view to who? Uh, let's see. You lost to uh, the, let's see. You lost to DDP, right? <clears throat> um. You you beat so your first match was uh, Flair. You and David Flair. You beat Reed and Rick. Yeah. Uh, then you beat Rick in a cage match with Nitro. <laughs> you, you and David beat Reed and Rick again on Nitro. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm wondering what crazy war games match you won. Oof. One. Uh, <laughs> you the uh, you Sting and Booker T beat Jeff and Scott on Nitro in Canada. Yeah. And then you lost to Stevie Way on Thunder, September 19th, 2000, by a uh, draw. Oh, that was your draw, actually. That was your draw. And then uh, you beat Booker T in a case. <laughs> that Whoa. was fun. Oh, this is Hall of Fame material. I'm like Sandy Koufax. <laughs> and then, and then uh, TNA, uh, the four, the eight man, you, Daniel, Skipper, and Loki beat Dusty Jeff, Real William, or Real Warrior Hawk. And then, uh, Dusty, yeah, man, Dusty. yeah, I remember that. You're the helmet on that, that yeah, that. the helmet. I, who beat me, bro? <laughs> Nobody beat me. And then you had, uh, then, uh, your draw was, uh, no contest uh, against D Lo. And then on October 1st, 2003, Dusty Rhodes and Jeff Jarrett defeated AJ Styles and Vince That, wow, that was on AJ. AJ, that was on AJ. Screw <laughs> that. That was AJ, bro. That. AJ tarnished my record, bro. You're undefeated in singles. AJ, though. man. I knew it. <laughs> undefeated in singles match. You want to talk about Hall of Fame criteria. Come on, that bro, right there. G, Dusty, Ric Flair. Come on, man. Yes, indeed, man. Legend, legend, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, I think uh, you all need to choke on that slap nuts and uh, <laughs> and realize that Vince Russo is undefeated in singles competition. Bro, EC3 so wants to go to bed and he's sitting here with, hearing my one loss record. <laughs> I'm <sick of> my <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, bro. Uh, Wrap it up, bro. Uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame, uh, a Hall of Fame uh, qualifier, Vince yeah. Russo. <laughs> DNA Hall of Fame uh, shoe in uh, EC3, and I am Dr. Chris Featherstone. This is the Wrestling Outlaws 7 1 and 1 solo. Yes.